first day at Alton Towers, as you just saw from the footage. Uh, it was really good to get on lots of rides again, like Wickerman, Nemesis, Galactica 13, Rita. I think some of those rides are quite underrated as well, like Galactica and 13. They're quite underrated rides, but they're really good. Galactica's really smooth and relaxing, and 13's just a great family coaster, and it does ha actually have some airtime, even though many people say it doesn't. Also, Rita, many people, especially recently, have been saying it's quite rough. I was on the blue train today, and actually it wasn't too bad. There was a bit of a rattle on the train, but it wasn't a headbanger like some people say it is. I think with that ride, you need to ride it more than once to give it a final judgment, because it depends what seat and what train you're in, to be honest. I have had rough rides on it, well, one rough ride, but the other two I've had have been okay, like the one, even the one today. Anyway, we're in the room now, we're staying at the Enchanted Village and I'll just show you around quickly. Just had to cut the footage there to rotate the camera, so we've got this room, we've got a bed. I'll just be quick about this because my parents are coming back in a minute. We've got another bed in here, another room with a bunk bed and there's also a pull-out bed. We've got the bathroom through here. Oh, well, there is a bathroom through there, but the door's shut. I won't open that. And outside as well. Got a balcony. So that's all I really have to say. Also, we did Oblivion, and that was, although it might look intimidating, that drop it really isn't. It's really not bad. Hanging over the drop's actually worse than the drop itself. You don't actually feel that much on it, trust me, it's nothing. So definitely if you're scared of oblivion, give it a go and don't chicken out because you will regret it. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I'll see you tomorrow for some more footage. So you've just seen a bit of footage there from my trip to Alton Towers, I know it wasn't very much and um, basically I forgot to charge my camera before I went on the trip and I had to use my phone for the footage I captured which meant that I was a bit like, well, no point getting that much because it's better quality on the camera. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, I know it's only a mini vlog like I put in the title uh, but yeah, the next vlog I do will be from Blackpool Pleasure Beach uh, worth noting that I have switched to that camera now, I've charged, charged it up since I did the vlog, but yeah, the next vlog will be from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, hopefully I remember to charge my camera before I go, I know like I said in my last uh, sit down video type thing that, and I'm sorry if you can hear music in the background and was just playing Planet Coast before recording this, uh, but yeah, I'm going to edit this now, I'm going to upload it, and I uh, will see you in my Europa Park review, which will be up Friday or Saturday. It's worth notice, noting as well that, I know I've put this on Twitter, but how I said I'd be doing a schedule, I've decided against doing that now, because I feel like I'd rather make sure my videos have quality rather than sticking to deadlines and them possibly being in a lower quality than they would be otherwise, but yeah. As a result, I've swapped this in the Europa Park review around. I originally said that I was going to upload the Europa Park review first, but I thought that I'd spend a bit more time doing that to make sure that that's of the best quality. I knew that this wouldn't take that long to edit, because obviously it's like a 10 minute video, literally. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, as I said, the next video will be the Europa Park review, and then I will see you in my Blackpool Pleasure Beach vlog. So yeah. See you guys later.